Hi, so this is the final video in the series on reflections and it's the one that not every student will get full marks on. It's about reflecting in the Y equals X line or X equals Y line. I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, so in this particular video, uh, this is the final video in the series on reflections of shapes. And it's the one where it's usually valued about four or five marks, something like that. Um, and usually students don't get 100% of these marks because they're being asked to reflect shape A in the line Y equals X. Alrighty. Okay, so the, the first thing about this is you need to know where the line y equals x is. The second thing is you need to always make sure that you're very, very accurate. So as I've done in the previous videos, in order to plot this, I'm just simply going to plot the coordinates where y equals x. So I can say 1, 1, because y, which is 1, equals x, which is 1, or 2, 2, y equals Two, x equals two, okay? Or I could have negative one, so minus four, minus four. X equals minus four, y equals minus four, or y equals minus four, x equals minus four. Now, like I did in the previous uh, video, if I just plot those points, it will allow me then to create this mirror line, which is y equals x. Okay, so 1, 1, well I'm going to go along 1 and up 1, it's going to be something like about there. 2, 2, up there, something like about there. Uh, minus 4, minus 4, let's say it's about there. Okay, so I'm just going to join this line, these dots up and create the line y equals okay, x. Okay, so I've created the line y equals x and what I need to do now is just accurately reflect shape A in order to create shape B. Okay, now again in the previous videos I have talked about that the reflection is always perpendicular to the mirror line. Okay, so there's my mirror line which is this one here and if I want it perpendicular I have to make sure that it's 90 degrees. Now it's just a little bit trickier with these sorts of questions and you have to sometimes either measure them using a ruler or count the squares but sometimes it's sort of like a square and a half or something you'll see what I mean this point's easy because I'm not actually moving it so it's directly in the mirror line is going to be from that point to that point no movement at all okay if I look at this one at the top here well that's one space away so it's going to be one space on the other side it'd be something like that Okay, this one here is, um, I haven't really drawn it on the video, but let's say it's two and a bit spaces away. So you can either measure it as two and a bit using uh, just the squares on the grid, or you can use a ruler and you can say, well, it's 13 millimeters away or however much it works out. So providing you plot very accurately each of these points, then you should be able to create a shape which is a true reflection of, in this particular case, shape A. So if I now join up these points, I'm just going to turn my back to the camera and join up these points a little bit, you should find that you get a fairly accurate picture of a reflected shape. In this particular case, uh, they've asked us to call it shape B. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. It is um, a question where lots of students do lose marks, mainly because they don't get this particular mirror line drawn accurately or because they forget about the shape needing to be, or the points on the shape needing to be perpendicular to the mirror line. Uh, please do like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.